Welcome to Do It Yourself A to Z. I'm going to talk about an electric chainsaw today, specifically the Works electric chainsaw. What I've done to store it is I've cut a slot in the uh, end of the box so they don't, I don't have to take the chain off when I want to store it. Just uh, stick the bar through the slot. Okay. get a close up of that. I'm going to discuss whether an electric chainsaw can do the job that a gas chainsaw can do. And I've found that it definitely can. Okay, so um, I put this log here, fairly thick, and I put it like this because uh, there'll be compression along the top of the log which tends to jam the chainsaw let out the chain and when it jams sometimes it jumps off the sprocket or gear inside here and uh, it's easy to change chains and uh, put it back on if it jumps off the gear what you do is you loosen the cover here Sometimes if it jams, it will jump off this gear wheel here. And it's easy enough to put back on and then just pull the, the bar tight, put this back in place, and tighten it. Okay, that's nice and tight and make sure the chain is nice and tight. It turns okay. Let's see, it's not turning. There we go. Okay, so let's give it a try and see how it cuts. Okay, I'll get some eye protection on, which I should have. What I've done is I've propped a branch, fairly thick, part of the trunk actually, and uh, I'm going to show um, how the electric chainsaw cuts quite adequately. In, in having it propped like this, there's going to be compression along the top of the branch. As it, it cuts, it will pinch the blade. We could cut from the bottom, but then if it jams, it's going to kick back at you. So I'm going to cut from the top. And that way, if it jams, it will kick away from it. Um, if it does jump off of the jam and jump off of the sprocket, I've shown how easy it is to uh, get it back on. But there's a way also to cut in which it won't jam when, it, when the branch collapses. So let's give it a try. There was one. I actually, there was one time where, I, um, after a, a big windstorm, a tree broke about a third of the way up, about eight feet up, and it was propped like this. And I tried to cut straight down through it, and the blade totally jammed. And I had to finish it up with a handsaw. And uh, when I cut through the big heavy branch, and the chainsaw crashed to the ground, and I was thinking, "Oh, that's it for the chainsaw," but it, it's worked fine. It's, um, it's about five years old, we got it after Hurricane Irma, which I think was 2017. And we've only had to change the blade once, because it got dull, and that's easy enough to do. Okay, so let's give this a try and see how it cuts. The way, that, the way I'm gonna cut is I'm gonna cut a V, that way when the branch starts to collapse, it won't pinch.
what I'm going to do now is uh, cut this stump so I can demonstrate cutting wood with just a straight cut instead of having to cut a V in it like I did on the, the branch. I can just cut straight through it, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I may have to use a wedge here. That's a lot of it's coming off. It's so rotten. Okay. Yeah, let's continue now. Okay, so that cut pretty easily, just making a straight cut. It's about a 10 inch trunk. So I highly recommend this chainsaw and the only negative thing I'd say about it is if there's an electricity outage obviously you can't use it. That's the only drawback to an electric chainsaw. Sometimes here in Florida we have hurricanes and electricity might be out for a week, maybe two. What you'd have to do then is just wait until the electricity comes back on or get a generator. You can run this off a generator. Thank you for watching.